Uh, here we are tuned to CHU 7850 uh, first on the um, just showing you a couple receivers here at uh, Chuck Yarbrough's house um, I'm going to volume up on CHU this is the AEG uh, 1800-3 very famous uh, radio once reviewed in the World Radio Handbook as the quote best radio in the world maybe not um, Here's a uh, pretty good signal, 7850. Challenging uh, solar conditions. Beautiful, beautiful fine main tuning knob on this thing. And of course the, uh, what do they call this? Frequency guide. Uh, Frequency tuning tuning indicator on the 1800 slash uh, three, just beautiful radio. Look at this. All right, we're gonna go up to the Thompson CSF TRC243 again. This these things are just never seen anywhere. Uh, I've also tuned this to CHU. Uh, I'm gonna turn the RF up a little bit and the volume. Kind of hard to hear because uh, it's coming right from the front speaker, but very nice, uh, very nice signal. Again, no pan up. A lot of uh, French front dial markings. There you go, TRC243. And they're two of the best and the rarest radios in the world right there uh thompson cs and the aeg 1800 we're going to volume down on this now we're going to go to the uh <laughs> the quirky elmer marine radio <laughs> okay and we've also tuned that to 7850 so we'll turn the volume on that uh the elmer has fixed uh and this particular radio fixed bandwidth so you're pretty much set uh, you cannot vary the bandwidth in AM, upper, lower, and CW. And there's the screen. Very interesting receiver. Uh, old style function buttons, no touch screen. And to uh, actually tune it, you have to hit the frequency. That's interesting. Let me go back. There we go again. Did we, did we determine that you can vary the AGC uh, values on this uh, receiver? And then we're going to go back up to probably, wow, one of the best receivers in the pile, which is the RA3712, which is a dual receiver, and I've completely forgot how to uh, work both radios, but beautiful radio, tuned to 9395, uh, frequency, frequency, upper left, oh, nope, that zeroed me out, uh, tune, I want to go back to tune. Yep. No, do that. <laughs> I'm completely screwing this up. Frequency. Uh, yeah, a little help from Chuck here. 1995. There we go. Here's CHU 7850. There we go. All right. Thank you. Thank you for that help. Even after 50 years of doing this, I need some help. There's a game. Wow. Right now to tune now to tune to use the main tuning I need to hit. Um, there we go. Alright. And the one hertz tuning on right now. Wow.
All right, so just for the test, uh, there's the 7850 CHU on the uh, Raquel 3712. Then we're going to turn it down, go to this uh, very interesting Italian stallion. Uh, that's not bad. Marine radio. And um, back to the super ultra rare. Keep forgetting the name of it. Thompson CSF TRC243. You're just humoring me, right? <laughs> wow, that's almost the best of... Beautiful, just LCD uh, display here. So we're a manual RF game now. And then we're back to the 1800 slash three. And we're back to the, this video will go down in history on YouTube. Um, interesting, arguably the best recovered audio on, of any of these receivers on this NRD 630. Uh, kind of embarrassingly, I'm not the McKay here. Huh, McKay doing a little better here. ITT McKay. That's not so bad. On some wideband position. And uh, finally, and we were looking at the Cubic SMR 2400. Which has kind of huge speaker in the front, but a little muddled. A little muddled on the Cubic sound solid state. There you have it. Breathtaking uh, pile of radios here in Maryland. Especially here. Okay. Got a little uh, view from the back here. All right.